On this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over air circulation for indoor cannabis production. If we're growing cannabis indoors, we know the importance of air circulation, so let's learn about some of the details. So first off, it is important uh, because indoor growing environments are protected areas that limit natural airflow. While some pruning methods can help open up a plant structures, there still is no substitute for moving air within a grow space. Fans are highly recommended to help aid this process, and air circulation can help strengthen plants and also reduce pest and disease pressure. Large and sm uh, small and large spaces need air movement, so just because you're growing in one area versus another, don't think it's any more or less important. Even if you're growing in just one plant, air movement is still important. In a small grow tent, this can be as simple as a little six inch fan, as we kind of see right here. And in larger grow spaces, this can mean large oscillating fans and multiples of them, and putting different directions help move air through. So again, whether it's a small space, large space, one plant, many plants, air movement still important and needed. So how long should the fan be on? People wonder, well, if I should, I've put a timer on my fan. And really, unlike lights, fans should be running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They should always be moving air. Even when plants are, quote, resting in the dark or night cycle, moving air is still important. Moving air can help reduce the humidity and moisture accumulation on the plant surface to help mitigate potential disease pressure. This is why it's important. And here we see in this uh, facility, we see fans on the wall, we see fans on the floor, again, pointing in different directions. These are oscillating, keeping that air moving all the time. Horizontal airflow is something else we want to consider, and oscillating fans maximize the airflow in the growing area. As a general rule, you want to select a fan with a CFM, which stands for cubic feet per minute, equal to or greater than the size of your growing space. So for a growing space of 1,000 cubic feet, you should have about a 1,000 CFM fan, just to, again, give you an idea of the approximate size uh, to match your growing facility. We also want to be considering the vertical kind of airflow. This will mix the air to avoid temperature stratification. Remember, hot air wants to rise, cold air wants to sink. We want to make sure we're kind of mixing that. While important, uh, too much of a good thing can have a negative impact, especially if the grow space is being enriched with carbon dioxide. So I make that note in the sense that we don't want to aggressively mix our air vertically because we might be exhausting out more carbon dioxide. But it is good also to think about in that vertical sense to keep the air moving. Lastly, kind of a way to ensure that you're able to adjust the conditions to best match the number of plants or size of plants that you have, uh, having a fan that can be linked up to a fan speed control is a good option to have. Having control over fan speed can help ensure that the correct amount of air movement can be achieved. And this allows adjustments to be made over the growing cycle, number of plants that might be in, moved in or moved out. So it's just good to have this as an option as you're looking at maximizing uh, air circulation around your plants to create a healthy and supportive growing environment.